more Praise to God so we pray some more Say no more We let the money do the talking Say no more Cause you weren't there when we were crafting Say no more I heard the boy said they on me Say no more Well I said say no more What's going on people? It's me J Fresh Now as a DJ in the club There are big records There are records that you play And it gets a bit of a reaction There's some records you play It gets a bigger reaction mm -hmm. There's some records you play the crowd goes mad, you lift up the turntable, you dash it across the room, instant wheel up. And there's a tune that does that at the moment based on three words. Plug, extension cord. I'm with my boy 23 in the place. What's going on, man? Yours, are yours, are here, man. We're here, we're here, we're here. The guy who's responsible for that record. <laughs> thank you for making my job as a yeah. DJ very easy. No, thank you for playing my music, <laughs> man. Trust me. It's, it's mad. It's good to be here, man. Now, uh, your journey over the last year yeah. has been mental. How would you put it in your words? If I had one word, I think I'd say it's a blessing, you know. Mm. Proper, like, I, I, don't, I don't know. It's it's crazy. It's a blessing. I don't know. Like, it's mad because a lot of the time when it sits back and thinks about, like, now I'd think about where it was a year ago. Yeah. And I just released it in Melbourne. Mm -hmm. And that was July the 28th. So a year. Almost a year to the day. Literally. So a year onwards, exactly now. We're on a. EP, mm. do you know what I mean? So, and from that, like even before it involved, I was just thinking that I didn't know it was gonna go off how it did. Of course. So it, now that we're releasing an EP a year on, we're just like, right, just in that the, the year alone, it's just been crazy, like mm. non-stop, like all the things that have been happening. So yeah, like it's been it's been a crazy world. It's been crazy, crazy times, man. Crazy it's times. Good. I see that smile creep across your face. <laughs> when you talk about the last year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, mean, I just think about it a lot, like all the little things that have happened. Not mm. even little things, but yeah, all the things that win, have happened. Followed by win just, and win. Just and don't so like. Yeah, sometimes you have to sit. Like, What's going on, man? You know what I mean? Like, like it's crazy. <laughs> like it's, it's probably crazy sometimes. It's a good, it's a positive path. Nick. It's great to see, man. And no, you mentioned mm -hmm. the EP, yeah, the EP that people might be confused with as mm -hmm. an album, but it ain't an album. It's not. It's an EP. It's definitely it's nine album. tracks it's of madness. An EP. Definitely, definitely an EP. Before everyone gets confused. <laughs> how um, would you how would you describe the EP and the body of work in your own words? Um. So if you've listened to me from the start, or even after even bothered, or whenever you picked up on the journey, you'll know. This is just uh, this is me. Like this is like if you're a real like not even a real fan, I say. But if you're a fan of my music, you'll know that this is the wave, isn't it? Like this EP is everything. This is you. Yeah, because even the fans that I know, like you know, like even on my Instagram, I see the fans that have been like shouting me from time ago, mm. and they'll still this day they're just like, yeah, this EP is everything we needed. Da -da -da -da. Yes. So in my eyes, it's 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 working. Do you know what I mean? Like everything that I kind of wanted mm. to actually happen with the EP has now happened. It's nine songs. It's nine different different types of songs mm. I try to blend everything in in a, in a nice way um, it's nine different moods I don't know it's just I feel like it's a good good body of work because I even sometimes I, when I when I was making the project and then it was finally complete I took a step back as an artist and sometimes you have to actually listen to the EP as a fan yeah you're just too, like sometimes how, you're too yeah, into it yeah because we're so into it you don't ever see the actual body of work mm. in a sense of like I'm just the, like, I'm the artist on the song obviously so yeah, I'm not gonna I just don't know like, so I had to sit back and look at it as a fan just like I'm a fan of anyone else's music and uh, we sit down and talk about all the different songs that are on someone's projects and what's a banger what's not a banger and then I, I, we sat down me and all the boys and, uh, and, and like my mum like, even got like family views on it and everyone was just saying like, this, is, this is just a dope project so I was just like all right, cool. Man. It's good to right. go. Like we're, we're doing, doing all right. right. Like, I was like, I was like to everyone, like, be honest with me. Like, like, what song do you like? What song do you like? Like, what song should it make the EP? Da, da, da. And we already had narrowed it down to nine on, on mm. our side. <coughs> and then they were just like, no, every song has got to stay. So when you've got that and you're down to your final record, yeah. Um, the running order, yeah. How people digest the whole yeah, project yeah, yeah. is that something that you spend a lot of time thinking about and chopping and changing because getting people now in this day and age yeah. to listen to a project all the way through yeah, yeah, yeah. is perhaps not as easy as it used no, to be back in the day. Hundred percent. So um, with that, we started off with the intro. So I, I made how did the project come around? I made my intro and then I made my outro, mm -hmm. which isn't really. It's, uh, it's called still the same. On the, on the mixtape um, on the EP shall I say sorry but I, I just, in my head it's just called the outro because it was originally named but 
we wanted it to with the outro we didn't want to call it outro we wanted it to actually be like more of a song than anything hence mm-hmm. why it's got like a song name instead of just called outro and then like even now like everyone just enjoyed like they just everyone loves it so going through the process of going from the intro to the outro I wanted it to kind of be like a it's like a journey yeah but we hear that a lot yeah but no, 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 I know, I know be, what you mean it has, like, to, go it has to go somewhere I didn't want it to be like like Aim Bothers There and then the intro like, like we always start off with the intro of course but then it's like from the intro you go straight into Ain't Bothered like it's, nah it's like intro mm. then you jump onto the next song then it's the next like it's just a, a wave I gotta be honest with you bro I released my latest album as a producer two yeah. three months ago and I took days working out running order See? I was chopping and changing yeah, yeah. it I was looking at what bands did yeah, yeah, yeah. 10 15 years ago and yeah. think what you think is your strong tune yeah. do you have that as your third track yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da. so I know the process man but um, <coughs> people know about the stories who you've linked with musically in the yeah. past and we know that you've experienced and absorbed a lot mm-hmm. being in the studio settings mm-hmm. so what kind of advice would you give to young people who are you know, trying to get involved in music trying to trying to learn trying to learn a bit more about how to put music together about those studio settings what can they learn if you're I just say yeah I always say to everyone just be yourself in the, in the booth like that like you'll mm. find your sound you'll find your wave but like, don't ever lose what you start like even now I feel like I still like lyrically and like everything that I put down us is still what I would have spoke about two years ago yeah but it's just now I can do it on a bigger stage like mm. you know what I mean I can like enhance it and all the experiences that I've come across and everything because as an artist just stay true to yourself um, never ever lose like don't ever lose hope in the music like mm. just know that that it might not come after the seventh song it might not come after the tenth song it might not come after the twentieth but it's gonna come and mm. the way music's going at the moment in the UK and if you got that wave or you got something that's just like just everyone's gonna pick up on or something like that you won't ever know it but it, mm. it will come trust me um, just stick on it man don't ever ever feel like, like it's not going to ever come or anything like that stay on the wave trust that me that momentum is very important 100%. for young artists as well 100% and I've, I've interested to hear what you think but sometimes I think it's a balance between if you don't put enough if you don't put out enough music regularly mm-hmm. people go do you still do music when you haven't put out tuning sometimes 100% but at the same time sometimes we all see it people mm-hmm. just fling out anything and you think you've there's a balance out. there's a balance there's definitely so momentum a is very important for young artists <coughs> even when I was at I point that when I before like ain't bothered and everything took mm. off um, I had about how many songs did I have out before that like, five songs mm. and that was so say ain't bothered was started what was that so within a year I released about five or yeah like five songs so there was like um, I had like a debut song there was a song called uh, second quarter there was a freestyle there was a song that I have with notes um there was a song called Torn and there was a song called Make Money yes it was, like, it was mm. and after every song that like, we was getting more and more feedback more and more positive like you could more see it was you like, see it progressing like, every song and that's what the one thing that mm. alongside the momentum and everything like, it kept me going because I could actually see like we was getting somewhere and it's working Like even though it was just a space of a year and then obviously luckily enough I was blessed to come across it and bothered and it took off and then now that's on what like 4 million views later Calm. Can't tell me. Calm, calm. Can't, can't tell me it's on, is it nearly 13? Yeah. Um, yeah, so like, um, I was blessed enough to jump on the Jumanji remix, mm. um, done Day in the Life, and now we're on a project, and Say No More has just touched a million views in the space of like, what, three, now three weeks. And now, that progression so is mad, bro. It's mad. But and, you mentioned Notes just there. Now, it was yeah. almost a year ago mm-hmm. that we were in this building mm-hmm. in a different studio that we interviewed Notes. Mm-hmm. And he struck me as someone who was. Very calm, mm-hmm. very composed, mm-hmm. passionate, 100%. real determination, dedication. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you see any similarities between the two of you? Yeah, you see, with me and Notes, like even when we was like going to the studio back in the day, on the early, like we just loved music. Mm. So besides, besides just being friends or anything like that, there was always that hunger and determination that we're gonna be musicians and we're gonna be successful musicians like in our head like we used to do to tell like sit down and actually tell yeah. each other that, like bro like, so there was that positive energy yeah that's bouncing like, off each always other always just clicked forward. and like even like when it came down to making songs it was always it was mm. just always clicking like no matter what like we'd just be in the studio just chilling and then somehow just make a song or something like that we always clicked so but mm. like with him as you mentioned like the determination and everything even like I was at um, I was with him the other day on Saturday mm. and it was still like like it was like back two years ago yeah, before yeah, everything yeah. That, like we're still hungry like there's n- we That's haven't done enough that hunger's needed and he's like you can see how big he is at mm. the moment he's still got the hunger I can still see in his eyes and even me he was like bro like you've come so far do you know what I mean mm. so no I feel like 
just even being like even yeah since day one with him it's always just been that that hunger determination and uh, the musical relationship and even the friendship beside that has always been mm. positive so that's yeah. really dope man now I know musically your kind of <coughs> background and your experiences yeah. or influences are like yeah. classics to MJ yeah, 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 yeah. Tupac and people like that legendary mm. Nas sick yeah. so who in this day and age of your like contemporaries are you really feeling you know, I'm a big big fan of, of course mm. like Drake just, just Standing. I've been following his journey for the like last 10 years. Yeah, so, right. so, so imagine I have old school Drake records. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's so been like, in it for so such so a long time. Long. Anyone in the UK that you're really feeling? Um, so I'm a big, Really feeling like, that. Really, really, fe- really, really, really feeling. I feel like, you know, I'm a major fan of the UK scene. Just like, even besides being a part of it, like, mm. I'm a major fan. Um, I like Nines. Mm. Also, I like, obviously Notes. Uh, Bane, Kojo. Like everyone, like I'm a major fan of everyone. Too many to mention. Like the whole scene, I feel like it's just mad positive at the moment. Mm. Like everyone's just doing something and pulling this. Like we're all, everyone's pulling their weight in a sense to like make the scene even bigger than it already is. Do you know what I mean? And how big can it go? Oh my goodness! How big can it get? There's no limit. Yes. Because like, there's never a limit. I with hear that. That. You know what I mean? There's no <laughs> limit with the music because you've seen where it's come from, like and mm. how quick it's developed in like, probably like the last five or six years. And obviously, being a part of the generation that actually. I don't know, like, you've like, it's, man, I can't, how do I explain it? Like, it's a lot of my, I say my generation now mm. in the music scene that are just pushing it crazy at the moment, mm. besides that like, other artists and everything like that. It's like, so being a part of that and seeing it in the like, last five years to see where it's come from and to where it's, there's no limit. It's and it's madness. only like, there's always going to be a new art, there's always going to be someone to come through mm. and just keep pushing it. It's mad now you can drop a record and a mm. video, and if it's viral, there. You'll get the numbers, yeah. you'll get the booking agent, you'll go top 40, Done. you'll get the festivals. Literally. And it doesn't have to be a top 10 record. Literally. It's just if you create that wave, and that's what I love now, the independence is Literally. there. And years ago, I used to do interviews with artists, <coughs> and you could tell that you could tell they were restricted yeah. by like maybe the label situation yeah, yeah, they yeah. had or the climate we were in mm. at the time, maybe mm-hmm. without the without the majors, maybe at the time they yeah. were, it was difficult to them to really get on yeah, these yeah, platforms yeah. and get 100%. these numbers and success. But now, you guys are just going out there and doing it on your Literally, own. Literally, like you see where it's mad because I see how my journey was, you mm. know what I mean? All I done was pay a cameraman, shoot a video. I went to the studio to record over a beat and now look where we are. Sick. How many months That's later. inspirational though, Do you know man. what I'm saying? But it's a thing where it's like, it's, 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 I'm not saying it's as simple as that because obviously everyone's pathway is different mm. and things like that. But like when it comes to music, it's just like, it's mad how things can just mm. go from one thing to another. And now that we're doing EPs, we're doing with got a club night, like we guys shows every other day of exactly. the week like everything's just crazy man. Mm. now towards the end of the year there's the winter headline show mm-hmm. what can people expect from that because we know you're going to bring out basically every artist ever <laughs> is going to come out on stage you know what, yeah is any tune going to be completed is it just going to be just pure reloads for like three hours <laughs> If the DJ lets me, <laughs> if the DJ lets me, that's one thing. But no, the tour, man, um, it's going to be a crazy one, man. I'm even excited for it now. Like, do we have Do we have dates? Do we have um, a month? Do we have a an insight into that? Because when, when it's like dates. a broad period, bro. I don't have a date locked in. Okay. Well, it's a lot sooner than guys think, trust me. Because I know the energy... <coughs> you said before, like in interviews, yeah. you're vibey, but in a sense, you're calm. Yeah, yeah, in the yeah. studio, you're doing your thing calm yeah, and composed. Yeah, yeah. But when you're out on stage, oh, no, you're stage getting you the energy off them, you're giving the energy back to them. Like, you got to lose it sometimes, man. Like, not lose it in the sense of go crazy, but like just the energy of the crowd. Mm. Like, and a lot of the like nine times out of ten, it's usually like my shows are lit in it. Like, mm. I can't even lie. So, like, when they give off the mad energy, and obviously, as you even said, like, I mean, that plug exercise is mad. Like, even to this day, like, we performed, I was in, um, I went Wells on Saturday quickly mm. to go do a show. Just, like, just performing. It was, like, I performed Say No More, everyone sang the song. Then, as soon as, like, they heard the bit to, like, the beginning bit mm. of Ain't Bother, just the beat, like, the club just went mad. And it, like, it always makes me think, like, it's just. Is it really? Like, is this much of a banger? <laughs> like, but, yeah, on one. But I hope you're not being lazy. You're no, not just no, letting no. the crowd oh, sing no, no, the whole no, 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 song no, no, and no. just standing there. And then Sometimes getting the bag and you're off. No, 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 hundred <laughs> percent. I perform the song, but like, like when I've done certain shows and I've come out and it's like a surprise, and I've come out on someone's headline show and they just hear the the plug. Like, sometimes I just have to stand in the moment and just take in everything that's mm. happening. That's why mm. like, I don't even say the word sometimes. I just, I just go into fan mode, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sick yeah. though, sick though. But I love that energy. I love that vibe around what you're doing, man. Yeah, and I right. think being able to absorb what's going on mm-hmm. and appreciate it as well as working towards mm-hmm. the next things you're working towards yeah, is really yeah. key, man. Yeah, 100%. Really but listen, thank you for joining us today, man. Good oh, luck with the EP. Me. 
and the winter show. We look forward to more bangers. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. (laughs)